I would say that this show reflects, expresses my experience of landscape. Uh, the hot Mediterranean landscape of Himeiras in Catalonia and in Paphos, Cyprus reminded me in many ways of growing up and spending my teenage years in Australia riding horses all day and I was not doing any artwork but it really does embed itself in you. Uh, the oil pastel technique is one that I used many many years ago but have dropped uh, only to use it when I was teaching um, and so since I've been teaching uh, summers in Spain I would have my oil pastels with me oil pastel and mineral oil and it became a very um, I, very useful <coughs> media to use very handy in spite of the fact that I also did use some paint so I think that the way that you can layer the oil pastel and become graphic with pencil or woodless pencil or any other kind of graphic uh, stick or, um, is lends itself to this kind of landscape because the shapes of the trees, the olive trees, the horizon, the rocky sear um, expression of the landscape is very powerful. Uh, was inspired by fields of poppies in Mieres, which is a small town in Catalonia, where I teach a workshop. And the, 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 it's really the gesture of the poppies comes out in the way that the red acts. It's a very uh, expressive and exciting color. The sky was often pale with heat, and um, this quartet was definitely called the Puppies of Mieres. These three here are denser. Um, they were also done in Mieres, and uh, but they were just uh, color landscape impressions, really. Uh, these are from Cyprus. There are later works from Cyprus where it's not quite as evident. Uh, the details of horizon are less um, obvious, but they have a sense of the light and light. Um, a Cyprus is also has a lot of limestone in it, and so it's a very white place very reflective, in spite of the fact that it, the light and the heat of the light is sometimes in this work. I had to do this very early in the morning because it just got terribly hot. This one shows more uh, recognizable elements, the cypress trees on Cyprus as well as some of the terracotta color that sometimes gets trapped in the limestone. There's actually a palm tree in there. But um, that has some descriptive elements in it, unlike the others, which have descriptive elements, but you have to uh, improvise. All of these are improvised. They are all improvisations. And these ones are the very early oil pastels that I did in Cyprus. I had sprained my ankle badly and it set me, down, set me back and set me down to work with the oil pastels. And the little squiggles are really, um, I would say, the olive trees in the distance, the horizon, the yellow light, some of the pigment of the olive trees, uh, in spite of the fact that it's more silver, they're more silver than anything else. What I found interesting was when I came back to Baltimore with this work, um, I showed it to a few people and they said, well, why don't you work larger, which is often something people say. 
I feel like these are to scale. Uh, using this type of media is very gestural. And so anyway, I'm always someone who takes advice. <laughs> so I went ahead and I thought, well, I don't think it's going to work out. But I started working much larger. And so now I'm starting to do a body of work, which is different, much more complicated, I think, than the landscapes. But is basically the technique of oil pastel and mineral oil with various other graphic implements embedded. Can you talk about the difference in the color key that compared to past things in the past? Do you see right. a similar? Well, I think that in spite of the fact that most of my work tends to be darker and heavier and my three-dimensional work, uh, my shoes are very heavy. Um, this work is inspired by being outside, especially outside in the Mediterranean climate. And I would say that it's very difficult to, to create work that is dark in that one of the pieces over there is dark. It was sort of an experiment on a long piece of ink paper. But um, I found working with shoes in Spain, they're also quite different. They're much lighter than the ones I do here. So I do think that environment obviously affects um, my work. And um, even these ones, with larger ones, which are quite luminous and colorful, I think they're going to tend to get grimier and uh, darker. But I'm not opposed <laughs> to doing light work. I think people think that I must be doom and gloom. <laughs> well, do you think color uh, represents, um, do, do you think it represents emotion to you, or does it represent no, it's really very, the it's atmospheric? Very visceral feeling. Um, the color and, and being outside of the U.S. for one thing where there's a lot of darkness. Uh, the, these places, uh, there's very little violence. There's a, a sense of uh, um, great um, vitality as well. And uh, Relaxation. I'm not really relaxation, but there's just a very different atmosphere outside of the U.S. and uh, you know, in the countryside, and the different foods, the wine, the olives, <laughs> the cheese, you know, the gazpacho. <laughs>